Hello and welcome to my review of The Water Dancer, a novel by ta Coates. Uh, the Water Dancer is ta Coates' first novel that he's written, although that isn't graphic. Uh, he's written some Black Panther comics that I've enjoyed, and so I was interested in reading this, especially when it said that it was in Oprah's Book Club 2019. So I was wondering if it would be good, and since I had plenty of times on my hands recently, I've read this book. It is 403 pages long. It's a good book to read, you know, about a chapter a day. Uh, I feel like the writing is well done, and it keeps you wanting to see what's going to happen to the main character. The main character is Hiram Walker. Uh, it takes place during slavery. Uh, but it's just interesting to see uh, what's going to happen to Hiram Walker throughout the story. Uh, and uh, it's he has he develops like a power, uh, a special gift uh, called conduction, and uh, it's basically you know it takes a while throughout the whole book basically to figure out how he can use it you know because it happens to him randomly at the in the first chapter he uses conduction just to save himself from falling into a river because he fell into the river and he's floating away you know about to drown and then he uses it to to teleport himself out of the river, basically. Basically, conduction is teleporting. Uh, spoiler, I guess. But, uh, so, and the reason he wants to learn how to control the power of conduction is so he can help slaves escape from slavery. It's a pretty good book, and it kept me interested in reading it the whole time, but the one thing that I didn't like was the ending. Uh, the writing's good, and it, this story was interesting. You just wanted to see what was going to happen at the end. And you end up thinking, I thought a certain thing was going to happen, but it didn't. So it was kind of disappointing. Uh, I guess it's good that it didn't go the way you expected. but So it was just kind of a, a dual ending. It, it seemed like there wasn't much of a climax to the story. Uh, I don't know. That's the only problem I really had with this book. I mean, it was good. It was a well-written uh, novel. It kept my interest throughout the whole story, but just the end, just, I don't know, just, I expected it to be a little more grander in the scale of things. Uh, and then, uh, you know, as Hiram is going through his story, uh, they're talking about another person who can use the power of conduction, and they said that her nickname is Moses, but, like, before they even revealed who it was, you could figure out which historical figure uh, the character was going to be and then it turned out it was so it wasn't very surprising maybe to someone uh, who doesn't know that much about slavery or something might find it like oh okay but I think most people will realize who Moses is before they reveal it even though I think it was supposed to be kind of a surprise or something when they actually said her actual name but uh, it's pretty good uh, I'm saying a lot of us uh, I don't know, just, there's a lot of things about here, a, a few things about it that I didn't like, but for the most part, it was good, but it could have been better, but the ending part, like, this right here, this little passage is like three, three paragraphs, it's the only part that really sums up the story and makes it sound like it's, you know, kind of a happy ending. The other part is just, you know, basically it goes up to this point and then uh, Coates, the author, just sums it up in just like three paragraphs of what happens. I don't know, I feel like they could have went more into to depth with this and fleshed it out more, but I don't know. It was just kind of disappointing that they're like, oh yeah, this is what happened at the end. Um, and then another thing, at the, the very first chapter... Uh, it's him falling into the river, and then he conducts himself. He doesn't know that he did that. He just figured somehow he got out of the river. But uh, that's the first chapter. And then I like, think it's like maybe the next couple chapters is uh, like before that. You know, he like has a flashback of when he was younger and a kid growing up on the plantation lockless but uh in the first chapter he says that he saw a woman and then it turns out it was like 
the ghost of his mom, I guess you could say. But she had like a necklace and uh, then later on at the very end, he finds the necklace and that's the key to him learning how to control the power of conduction. But by the time you get to that point in the novel, you forgot all about the beginning part and so it seemed weird. It was like, why is this random necklace uh, allow him to understand and comprehend how to use conduction? So I don't know. It just seemed kind of random. But then when I went back and reread the first chapter, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, and at the end, it says that uh, some of the characters were, other than Moses, were based off of real-life people that helped in the Underground Railroad. I thought that was kind of cool. <clears throat> and then at the end, uh, I think this might have been the best passage on the last two pages. Uh, it's talking about when he went to go see his father, who was also his master. Uh, I leaned down low next to him so that the cowrie shell necklace, which I still wore, shook a little and fell out from under my shirt. Better, I said to my father. I did not bother to look at him as I said this. I was not interested in his response, but I wanted him to know that I now knew all that he knew, that to forgive was irrelevant, but to forget was death. I guess that was my favorite quote in this book. But overall, it's a good novel, especially when you have a lot of time over time on your hands and I would recommend it but I just didn't like how it ended but for the most part it's an excellent book keeps you reading it's a page turner until you get to the end and it's like you expect something's going to happen and then it never does because in the story it's like he's talking about like Hiram is narrating the story like oh well when I was younger I thought this and stuff you know and by the end of it you think he's telling a story uh to conduct someone but it's not it's just so I, I felt like uh, it would have been more exciting if it was like he was telling the story cause in because in order to conduct someone because in the thing in this in the story the water dancer it's like to conduct someone they need to have be around water and then they need to be able to tell a story like an oral history of uh, memory they have and then they're able to conduct someone, a.k.a. teleport them to another place. But I felt like that's the way it should have ended, where you found out that he was telling the story of how he learned how to use conduction to use that memory to conduct someone, you know, to escape from the South. I think that would have been the ending that I wanted to happen for this book. But, of course, it didn't. But, uh... I feel, feel like uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates' first novel is uh, a win for him, uh, and it, it's a good literary work. So I would recommend it if you have time on your hands, which maybe you still do. If you like reading books, when the library is open back up, go ahead and check it out.